If the administrators are continue to, continuing to trade the business um, and have asked that you continue to provide your services, um, then any ongoing invoices you've got should be paid by them um, as an expense of the administration, which brings you higher up the pecking order in terms of priority of payments. Um, clearly, if you're a key supplier with products or services which are essential to the continued trading of the business or the um, proposed restructuring, the administrators should really prioritise dealing with you through you know, proper lines of communication. Um, where the company um, is one of your major clients or customers, um, you're very likely going to want to retain as good a working relationship as possible as well, um, as this might enable you to continue to supply the business if it's eventually sold on. Suppliers of goods um, often enhance their position by supplying um, goods on terms incorporating a res reservation of title or ROT clause, um, which provide that title in the goods doesn't pass to the company until there's been um, a payment in full for those goods. Um, there are a number of legal requirements for you to be able to establish a, an effective ROT clause. Um, where a company's um, on the verge of going into administration and has filed a notice of intention to appoint administrators that we mentioned earlier, um, and you're a supplier wishing to assert an, an ROT claim, you'll have to get permission of the court first before you can do so. Where the company's actually gone into administration, um, you'll need to either get the consent of the administrator, or if that isn't forthcoming, um, the permission of the courts. Um, some practical things you're going to have to think about in the current circumstances with, um, with the coronavirus um, outbreak is um, will you, for example, be able to take back um, the goods and have a market to resell them? Um, would you want to take back goods that have been placed in, a, in a, any location that have been considered high risk? Um, you've also got to think about the, um, the new regulations that have been brought in um, prohibiting certain businesses from, from trading. Um, and offences that can be committed under those um, regulations if you if you breach them. And that would be by going into those premises and seeking to recover your, your goods potentially. Um, and finally, under the new um, Corporate Insolvency and Governance Bill, which, which um, we, we mentioned earlier, um, there's going to be a brand new um, freestanding moratorium concept that's going to be brought in. This is a significant change to um, English insolvency law. For the first time, companies will be able to get a freestanding moratorium that isn't linked to any um, existing or proposed insolvency process. Um, I won't go into the procedure of the moratorium, that's another um, talk all on its own, um, but what essentially it will mean is that in, in similar ways to a company that's about to or has gone into administration, if a freestanding moratorium is in place, um, you're likely to be prohibited from um, asserting retention of title rights that you would otherwise um, wish to um, explore. 